So my Cajun pasta video did pretty good. By small, puny, insignificant cooking channel standards, that is. And I thought to myself, if Cajun food's that popular, then let's go all the way and make a nice, authentic gumbo. And before we begin, I should point out, I drive a lot for my day job. And thanks to one shirtless slob, I have to pay more at the pump. So please help out the channel. Support me on Patreon, link in the description. Now to begin our gumbo, you're gonna need a five quart Dutch oven. You can use a regular pot, but this just holds on to heat much better. So when making anything gumbo related, the first thing we need to make is a roux. So let's set our burner to high. Add one cup of grapeseed oil or any high smoke point oil. Now I'm gonna be borrowing Isaac Toop's method for roux making and you don't have to do this, but it saves a ton of time. So basically we're gonna get the oil smoking hot and dump in our flour. Now, if you're not experienced enough and this is your first roux, go low and slow. But me, and I'm no Isaac Toops, but I can make a damn quick roux. Oh, and uh, once your oil starts smoking like this, add one cup of flour. Whatever you do, do not take your yeah, eyes off the roux. Otherwise, it's going to burn. You want a nice deep brown chocolate roux. It's going to take about five to 10 minutes if you're using mine slash Isaac Tooth's recipe. All right, it's looking like wet sand. That's what we're looking for. Okay, once it's gone too clumpy, switch to a spoon. And once the chocolate roux has formed, let's add in our vegetable melody, otherwise known as the Cajun Holy Trinity. And no, the Cajun Holy Trinity is not puking on Bourbon Street, an out of tune saxophone player, or jambalaya that's so oily that it gives you really bad diarrhea. Although it is pretty accurate. No, the Cajun Holy Trinity is the Cajun version of a French mirepoix. But instead of carrots, we got green bell pepper. So chop up one onion, six stalks of celery, and two bell peppers, and you got your Cajun Holy Trinity. All right, once it turns to a nice brown color, add in our vegetables. If your smoke detector goes off, that means you're doing it right. Toss in some salt to draw out the moisture. All right, once we sweat down the veggies a bit, let's add five to seven cloves of minced garlic. Keep cooking, keep cooking our veg until the onions look a little bit translucent. Okay, the onions are looking a little translucent. Let's move on to our next step. Lower the heat down low and grab two bottles of beers. You're gonna use one to deglaze. And the other beer, well, what do you think you're gonna do with the other beer? Okay, let's add the rest of our ingredients. A pound and a half of andouille sausage chopped into little medallions like this. And some seared off chicken thighs. Okay, 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 let's rewind a bit. So in a large skillet, add in a couple tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Then add five boneless chicken thighs. Lightly season them with salt, then sear them off when you get them color on both sides. Then once you're done searing them, deglaze with one cup of beer, pour the drippings into a separate cup, then add it to our gumbo. A 16 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Then top it off with two cups of chicken stock. And finally add one tablespoon of salt-free Cajun spice. There's plenty of salt in the chicken and sausage and from earlier. Now, don't go adding more unless you know what you're doing. Thankfully, I know what I'm doing. Hey, hey, I'm just pausing the video one last time to let you know to add one more ingredient. 
two bay leaves. I uh, forgot to add them on camera. Bring this to a boil over high heat. Okay, once it comes to a boil, turn the heat down to medium low. Slap on a lid. And let that simmer for three hours. There is a house in New Orleans. And after three hours, our gumbo is looking nice and hearty. Top off our gumbo with some green onions. So pour yourself a bowl of gumbo and dig right in. I thought you saying, why am I not, not putting rice in here? Because my gumbo is that damn good. And the same goes for okra. I'm not putting vegetable jizz in my soup. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. So did I finally go to New Orleans? No.